Welcome back to Jekyll Sims. So today we will discuss self-practice 1.1G and this practice is about uh, sketching graphs. So from this lesson video, chapter 1, part A, um, to sketch a graph, you have two steps. The first step is to determine the shape. So for you need to look at the A if the value of A is positive, the graph is like this. If the value of A is negative, the graph is like this. And then you need to find the x-intercept. Uh, how to find x-intercept? You need to let y equal to 0. How to find y-intercept? You need to let your x equal to 0. So first question. Sketch each of the following graphs of quadratic functions. So the first question is fx equal to 2x squared plus 2x minus 24. So first, you need to determine the shape. Okay, so this is a quadratic function, right? You know that it is. Uh, the general equation is fx equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's a quadratic function. So the, the shape should be this or this. So you need to look at the value of a. Okay, so in this case, your a is positive 2. Okay, so you look at the numbers in front of x squared. Okay, so a is positive 2. That means a is a positive number. Then, uh, in other words, a is greater than 0. Okay, so your shape is a smiley face like this. Okay, and then you need to find a y-intercept. To find y-intercept, you let your x equal to zero okay this is your graph so your uh, your graph of this shape will touch it at this point this is called this point is called your y intercept you need to find this point okay this point touches the y axis your x value at this point is always zero because it the y axis x is zero okay so you can rewrite the original equation and then you substitute your x equal to 0 okay so your f 0 equal to 2 0 square plus 2 0 minus 24 so your you know that when x is 0 your fx will be negative 24 so your y intercept will be uh, 0, negative 24. This is your y-intercept. Okay, and then the third step to find x-intercept, you need to let your y equal to 0. So the same thing, your graph will touches your, uh, your touches your x, your touches your x-axis at two points. And at this two point, your y will be equal to zero. That's why I let my y equal to zero. Okay, so this is use a function symbol, so I change it to fx, which is the same thing here. Yeah? So fx equal to 2x squared plus 2x minus 24, and then your fx is zero. Okay, so now this is a quadratic equation. You need to solve it to find the value of x. Okay, and then you will get two value of x normally. Okay, 2x squared min uh, plus 2x minus 24 equal to 0. You know that they are all multiple of 2. So I can divide everything by 2. I divide the left side with 2, divide the right side with 2. Okay, so 2 divided by 2, you get 1x squared, and then 2 divided by 2, 1 also. Negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12, and then 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, so this is your uh, quadratic equation. So you can solve it to find x, okay, by using factorization. If you forget how to do the factorization, you may refer the previous video. Okay, so we draw this x times x, you get the first x squared. And then 4 times 3, you get the second uh, 12. And then you 
there is a negative, so I put it at here. So 4 minus 3, you get positive 1. So I have my uh, factorization done. Factorization, you will result in two brackets. Okay, so the first bracket is x plus 4. And the second bracket is x minus 3. <clears throat> okay, so you let your first bracket equal to 0. And this equation, you will find the first root, which are the, all the first value of x. And then this second bracket equal to 0, you will find the second root. Okay, so x equal to negative 4 is your first root. And then x equal to 3 is your second root. Okay, so you get your this value. This two will be your x-intercept. Your x-intercept is negative 4, 0, and then 3, 0. You have two x-intercepts. And then you can start drawing the graph. Okay, your y-intercept is negative. So I draw like this. This is your x-intercept. And then negative, negative 4 and 3. Negative 4 and 3. Okay, this is your y or fx. fx. And then negative 24. Negative 4 and positive 3. Okay, so you know that uh, the axis of symmetry is at the center which is negative 0 0.5 around here. So the, your minimum point should be lower than negative 24. Okay, so that your right side and your left side is equal. <clears throat> so this is the axis of symmetry. You don't have to draw the axis of symmetry, but if you want, it's okay. But make sure it's correct. Okay, so it passed through this point, your y-intercept, and then pass through this through point, your x-intercept. You should draw nicer than me. Okay, so let's see the second question. <clears throat> okay, so the equation is fx equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. Okay, so first determine the shape. A is value 1. A is a positive number. That's why my uh, shape is like this. And then to find x in, uh, to find y intercept, you need to let x equal to 0. Okay, and then the equation. Substitute x with 0. So your y-intercept is 16. Okay, y-intercept is 16. To find x-intercept, your fx should be 0. So 0 is x squared minus 8x plus 16, right? Okay, so you need to solve for the uh, factorization to find two bracket. So x times x, you get x squared. And then 4 times 4, you get 16. And then you need uh, negative 4 times negative 4, you get positive 16. Again, negative 4 plus negative 4, you get negative 8. Okay, so you get x negative 4, x negative 4. First bracket, second bracket. So you notice that the two brackets are the same. So you get only one root, okay, because the two roots are equal. It means two equal roots. That means you get one. Okay. So x minus 4 is 0. x minus 4 is 0. So you get... Okay, so your x-intercept is 4. Okay, so now you can sketch the graph. Uh, your y is positive. So this one, and then your x-intercept is 4, okay, somewhere here. And then it touches the y-intercept at 16. 
Okay, so only one one root. So this should be like this. Okay. So let's see question C. Uh, fx is negative 2x squared plus 2x plus 40. So we uh, determine the shape. A is negative 2. So A is a negative number. That means it's a shape like this. To find x intercept, I let x equal to 0. So my f, x, I rewrite the equation first. And then I substitute x with 0. I show the substitution step. And then you get 40 is your y-intercept. And then to find x-intercept, your f, x, should be 0. So f, x is negative 2x squared plus 2x plus 40. So fx is 0. And then I divide everything by 2. Okay, by the number 2. And then 0 equal to negative x squared plus x plus 20. Okay, and then I can... If, I, if you don't want your x squared to be negative, you can move them one by one there to that side. So it becomes x squared minus x minus 20 equal to 0. Okay, if this one is positive, you can move the whole thing. You just exchange left side with right side. But if you don't want it to be negative, you can move them one by one. Like I move negative x squared, it becomes positive x squared here. And then if I move plus x here, become negative x, plus 20, move there, become negative 20. So I, get, I can get rid of my negative here. Okay, and then I can do my uh, factorization here, x times x. And then to get 1, I choose 5 and 4. And then to get negative, I, I choose here negative 5. So negative 5 times 4, you get negative 20. Negative 5 plus 4, you get negative 1. Okay. So the first bracket, x minus 5. The second bracket, x plus 4. So you get two roots. The first root, the first root is 5. And the second root is negative 4. Okay. So you can uh, draw the graph. Your y is 40, so your y will be like this. So you don't need the negative part, so you can draw like this. And then negative 4 and 5, so negative 4 smaller, 5 is bigger, like this. Okay, x and f, x. Okay, so you, the shape is like this. So you can draw like this. Okay, so you should draw nicer. It's not a triangle like this. Okay. Okay, so question D. Uh, fx equal to negative 2x squared plus y. So you notice that there is no y, uh, there is no x, but it's okay. Okay, so to determine the shape. Okay, so to determine the shape, you need to look at the value of a. So your a is negative two. So a is a negative number. So the shape is like this. To find x in, uh, to find y intercept, 